Nimekuita mama Rose Williams Kenya sababu ninahitaji kutoa mike ili nilipe madeni. Hata kama hata kama nitakufa pale. Hata kama nitakufa nikitolewa hiyo kidney wacha watoto wangu wapate mahali pako. God forbid. In 2021. Mm. Asiyo sasa 2020. Sia natuambia tulipe pesa tulipe tulipe. Mama nililipa nikamalizia hiyo pesa. Hata kuna rafiki yangu ama relative wetu nyumbani mwingine tulikuwa na naye alikuwa na, na msichana ama ni mama. Mm. Naye alikuwa anataka kuenda. So eh, katika ile harakati 2020 31 May. Mhm. Mhm. Ule mama bifu hata hiyo May mm. on 14th kwa natuambia simu arakisha bwana. Mzungu anasema hii corona ikiisha maybe by August ama July watu wata, wataenda. Ule relative wetu nikamwarakisha katulipia pesa tukangoja sasa. Akatuambia kuna kazi imepatikana Dubai, mimi naenda Dubai ku sign contract na rudi. Mama kutoka hapo hiyo mama alienda akienda. Eh? Yes. Alienda akienda. Sasa hiyo mashamaliza 350 kabisa 350 pamoja na yule mwingine 100,000. Maski 100. Huyo mwingine alikuwa anahitaji. Yes, alikuwa anataka kupeleka watoto wawili. Yes. Ule ni relative wangu. Huyu ni mtoto wangu. Huyu alikuwa anataka kwenda Dubai, huyu wangu alikuwa anataka kwenda Canada. Canada. Yes. So ni, nani alikuwa anaitisha 350? 350 ni mtu wa Canada. Yes. 100 ni wa Dubai. Yes. So umelipa ngapi? 450. 450. That's half a million guys. Yes. Hello guys. How are you? How are you doing? Rose Williams Kenya or Momo Bea. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching. Thank you so much for joining and for clicking. I really appreciate you. Today we have a guest in my channel. She has a very painful story, so kindly let us listen. Okay? Thank you so much. So Tell, uh, tell us your names. Okay, I'm Agnes Chekwesh. And talk loudly so oh, that they okay. can hear. Okay, I'm Agnes Chekwesh. Wengine eh, wanajua kama Bensuda. I'm Bensuda. Why Bensuda? Yeah. <laughs> Bensuda is just a nickname. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, working as a security in a security firm. Uh, so people nicknamed me. Bensuda. You're working now or you were working? Yes, I, I'm working at even security. Yeah. So you're yeah, a security yes, person? Yes, I'm a security. Okay. Yeah, I'm working in a security firm. Mm. So I'm Agnes, I'm Bensuda. Okay. Uh, Tell us your story. Mm -hmm. What made you saw me on YouTube? Yes. And then you decided to call me and yeah. you wanted me to share your story. I saw you in the first story mm. with Lynn Google. Yes. The second one, mm -hmm. I was really watching you, and I'm still following. Yes. Uh, so that is why I, I wrote a message. Uh, I need your help. Uh, mm -hmm. So na shukuru mungu sana sababu. The other time, mm -hmm. nilikuwa na feel vibaya. Okay. But nikaona, sisi nika kuita na kuje. Mm -hmm. My story is, uh, I'm a mother of four children, mm -hmm. two boys, two girls. Watoto wangu wengine wako Eldoret, niko na mmoja huko, but yuko hapa around size. Mm. But uh, my story is this. Uh, in 1920, hayo ni 2020 wakati mm. wa corona. Mm. Kuna mtu alikuwa ametitokeza akatuambia kuna Falcons. Hii hii sasa ni maadu chungu ya story yangu ilianzia. Mm. Yes, I was married, but nikaachana na mume sababu ya ABCD. Sababu ya nini? Violence. Okay. Thank <laughs> So ni nashukuru Mungu sababu alinipa. Yes, yes kwa ile muda tulikana ya mm. kuelewana. Mm. 
but I know God will make a way where there is no way. Amen. I know one day, one time, mm. maybe to Nesarubiana. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kona Hopia here. Mimi, Mungu Akipenda. Uh. Maju Mungu Kingilia Mambo. Eh. Ile past tense. Mm. Ayone Kanangi. Muna Ongeanga? Eh, Sazingida Nangana. Kwa okay. Kato. Yes. Partner Fries. Alioa. Alioa, but. Come on, Alioa, but no, you're still hoping. Murudiani. <laughs> Alioa, Akaenda, but Ako. Okay. Okay, you see issues, Anna. Eh, quarter, I see Yeah, eh, Nikaku Kazi as a security, the Kona Fanya several assignments. But Nikaku twenty fifteen, Kafana Kazi, Pakasai Badu Nafana Kazi, Na Kogu just Kapapa twenty nineteen December. I'm by an engineer. One thing is a barabara. Mutu, we want to catch a lekeza quam stand up for Lani. I'm by a little night to a Dionesia Wangui. Dionesia Wangui comes from Kirinaga. I'll go on a agent and buy a corner of what Qatar, SG Canada, SG Wap. Oh, Gulf. These are Gulf countries. Yeah. Skumoja, we want to catch a lekeza quake. You want to see me pick a young to look a wink. Juni lienda tambaka kwa ofisi yake. So, tukiwa wengi, tukaenda pale, tukalipa pesa, tukambiwa procedure ni eh, first, ulipe pesa. Mtuto wapata the passport, yes, yu tulipata. Tukalipa pesa, tukambiwa 350. Thousand. Thousand. Mama nilikuja kungangana. Nilingangana, nikangangana. Bosu wangu wakani saidia pesa fulani. Rafiki yangu mungina wakani saidia pesa fulani ile yenye nilikuwa nime save nilitoa sababu nilikuwa nataka huyu kijana sababu amekubali anaenda mm. juu wakati huyu mzee alikuja kutuambia mm. nikamuuliza kijana akaniambia he code school mm. ninaenda mm. okay nikamwambia ni sawa hebu twende basi kwa ofisi yake tukaitwa tukaenda tukamaliza story ya passport tukamaliza tukaambiwa basi tunangoja barua ya contract tukuje tu sign is juu ya nini idea baba idea mama inatakikana pale nikamwambia ni sawa baba tukampikia akamtumia bidana yake tukafanya ABCD in 2021 mm after year 2020 see anatuambia tulipe pesa tulipe tulipe mama nililipa nikamaliza ile pesa kwa hata kuna rafiki yangu ama relative wetu nyumbani mwingine tulikuwa na Naya alikuwa na, na msitia nama ni mama. Mm. Naya alikuwa na taa kuenda. So, eh, katika hili arakati 2020, 31st May. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ule mama, bifu hata hiyo May, mm. on 14 taa kwa za tuambia, simu arakisha wana. Musuku wanasema, hii corona ikiisha, maybe by aka sema July, watu wata, wataenda. Ule eh, relative wetu ni kamu arakisha, katulipia pesa, tukangoja sasa. Katuambia kuna kazi imepatika na Dubai, mimi naenda Dubai kusign contract na rudi. Mama kutoka hapo, miyo mama alienda akienda. Eh? Yes. Alienda akienda. Sa hiu masha maliza 350. Kabisa 350 pamoja na ya ule mungine 100,000. Masikia 100,000. Uyu mungine alikuwa na hitu? Yes. Uluku ya kupeleka watoto wawili? Yes. Ule ni relativu wangu, uyu ni mtoto wangu. Uyu alikuwa nafaa kuenda Dubai, uyu wangu alikuwa nafaa kuenda Canada. Canada? Yes. So ni, nani alikuwa na itisha 350? 350 ni mtu wa Canada. Canada. Yes. 100 ni wa Dubai? Yes. So na umelipa ngapi? 450. 450. That's half a million guys. Yes. Yes. Okay. Kutoka hapo, nikakua nika nikimpikia simu. Dio nukwaje? si baya kidogo kaka niambia mimi ni mgonjwa mm-hmm. kusikia kweli vile unasikia mtu kama anaongea vile nilikuwa nakupiga nikikwambia sikisikipoa mama ya wenyewe tare that fast nasikia aliaga eh yes huyo mama huyo mwenye mlikuwa amepaya pesa yes aliaga tulitumiwa picha kama amefungwa kama anafungwa analetwa kile mama hapo ndio shida zangu silianzia Wale watu nilikopa pesa wanataka pesa. Yo, wale watu wanataka pesa yao. Mm. 
ule hata relative mpaka leo hii amini ya kwamba ule mama alikufa mm. anapaka pesa zake mtoto ajaenda hapo hapa ile kibarua alikuwa anafanya ilibidi asimame sababu alikuwa na ngozi alikuwa anatarajia kutoka hapo mama nimekuwa na lot of stress stress moja ni kwamba madini ninadaiwa madini wenye wanaku wenye walijua ama wenye niliwafuadia messages waliona ukweli maybe alikufa but hata hivyo mama alikufa lakini kwa size ukiniona hivi sina mahali pa kwenda i have nothing sisi enda kwetu sisi kwenda kwenda madini niliolewa sababu gani pale nilitoka kwetu sina makao kuna wenye wako pale si wanajua wao yakomba niliolewa mm. na kikwetu kiolewa wenye wa pale lakini umewachana ume kwa nini wasiamini wasi wasi kupatia another chance now that you're not living with your husband why can they allow you to be back you divorce yes but uh, ata kukuwa back ni stress bado sababu hao watoto wamekuwa wakubwa mama kwetu ukiwa yes niko nyumbani na iningekuwa ya kwamba inasemekana si kuolewa watoto wangu wangepata mali wanaweza chenga kakeja ama e, ninaweza chenga pale niishi mhm sasa sina hiyo e, mali pa kuishi umejaribu kuongea na brother zako wakubwa brother zangu wakubwa kuna mmoja mkubwa lakini aliaga mhm ambaye alikuwa mama wa mama wetu mkubwa wenye niko na wao ni watu wa ni watu wao wananifuata but mama si ni kali niko na niko na mahali because hata nikiwa nyumbani niko na stress mhm sina freedom sina amani nikaona ya kwamba wacha nikuje nitafute mpaka saa hizi nikitafuta nimekuja na watoto wangu niko mm. na wao huko baba aliaga mama peke yake ndio hapo nikaonelea kwamba hakuna haja ni ende ni mpe mamangu stress sababu ataambia maduku zangu la nisipewe kitu lakini hata si mama pale aonekane ya kwamba ako na nguvu lakini ana juu hata wakati za zingine kuna msichana wangu mdogo alikuwa anakana na kana e lakini niliona ilikuwa na stress sababu mama ana nguvu vile nafikiri unaelewa kushakuni leo ninaelewa naelewa nimekuita mama Rus Williams Kenya sababu ninahitaji kutoa my kiti ili nilipe madeni hata kama hata kama nitakufa pale hata kama nitakufa nikitolewa hiyo kitu ni wacha watoto wangu wapate mahali pako god forbid god forbid no just keep them away well. guys this lady it's it's okay it's okay mama it's okay mama this lady called me and she told me she wants to give out to give out her kidney one of her kidneys because she has she's so much in debt you can see where she lives hii nyumba mimi unalipa pesa ngapi nalipa 3500 hii kanyumba ni kadogo I don't even know how she survives here. Well, I know because I've been here, but you know now when you you ha, you come from somewhere, not that you forget, but you just thank God kama Mungu amekutoa pale, then you find someone now back mahali kama pale, it's really painful. She is so much in debt. Guys, you hear she is being anadaiwa. She's being uh people are really asking for their money. 450,000 Kenya shillings. Hiyo ni nusu milioni for those that know Kenya money. How do you, how much is that in in, in around anaitishwa 1,500 dollar za American. So guys, she is so, she asked she wants to give out a kidney. Yaani amepitia shida mpaka watu wanamdai kuna wale umesikia kisema kuna wale they don't believe that the person that was supposed to take her kids to one to Canada and another one to Dubai that they are dead 
lakini mam ume, umesema uli confirm uliona kabisa yes, alikufa because kuna mtu anaweza kuwa yes. mefake basi eh, hata mimi nili, niliambiwa kitu kama hiyo lakini sijai jua ya kwamba mtu anaweza kifo lakini mimi nilionyeshwa tu kama amefungwa unionyeshwa eh, na nani kuna mtu alikuwa pale kuna msichana alikuwa pale Dubai mm. ambaye rafiki yake yeye alikuwa amemwitia hiyo contract but eh ule akatwambia amekufa but niko na eh, everything ile messages yenye tulianza kuongea na yeye from the day one after death niliongea na yeye wakati yule alikuwa amefungwa alikuwa amefungwa mpaka kichwa ama uliona Kamisa, uso alikuwa napamba Ali, uliona uso ama niliona uso alikuwa ameko kitu ya white so ni yeye ni yeye hata ni hata nikimuona ninajua ni yeye because the question would be they could have shown you somebody mm-hmm. mwingine mm-hmm. kama amefungwa unaona vile mtu anarapiwa kama mm-hmm. huko yes kweli the whole body alikuwa amerapiwa eh. but ukiona uso ni dio so uliona uso uliona uso na hata ile ukikombea ile picha yenyewe walikuwa wameweka sababu eh baada ya kukufa tukaambiwa tena tumchangishe ndipo sa mwili yake ifike nyumbani tusaidie watoto wake niko na ile conversation tank the day one ambayo tulijuana na huyo Dion na Dion sana sana ni kama nafikiri ile alikuwa na shida ya ku text so alikuwa na audio call ama inaitwa video call kitu kama hiyo audio ana record yes. audio na kutumia yeah, haya ana record ananitumia ile eh, nini ya mpesa yote yenye nilimtumia hata ingawaje kuna ingine nilimpea cash money mm. lakini niko nazo niko na everything na hata mpaka saa hizi ukipika hiyo simu yake njoo na jaribu every month every week if, yani nikikumbuka wale wakinidai ya kwamba mimi nimekuwa con lady nimenyang'anya mtu pesa nikikumbuka mama ile yao ni mia yangu ni 350 kama wanasema ya kwamba ni walipie nani hata nilipa yangu na hiyo 350 pia si uli uli ulikopa kazini yes nilikopa so ina maanisha inakatwa kwa yes, mshahara ina katu mama mm. pesa yenyewe ninalipwa hapa ninalipwa 8000 mshahara yako ni 8000 yes. mshahara yangu ni 8000 ninalipa nyumba 35 niko na huyu msichana mwenye muona hapa mdogo na mlipia school fees niko na vijana niko na kijana na msichana ambaye walikuwa wanataka kujaribu kasi ya NYS but tukakosa hata mwelekeo atujui hata tunaanzia wapi hata utambikia nani ya kusaidie juu na juu mtoto akijui pale NYS kutoka hapo maisha yake yeye mwenyewe ataenda kutichakulia na pale hii elfu nane ni mshahara yako yenye unalipa ama ni yenye ilibaki after unalipa yes, loan after after ninalipa loan eh okay so ulikuwa na ujue ni, 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 ni naambiwa ya kwamba ni naweza kato hata sijui hapa miaka ngapi paneliamini kuliko niende ni 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 nifungwe wacha watoto wangu hao wakiniona nikiwalipia mm. guys i saw i saw um i saw an article somewhere on on facebook and there are people who are so much in debt that they decided to go and give out their their kidneys for money but the doctors declined why you they, there's nowhere you will find that kidneys are stored at someone at anatolewa kidneys inaenda zinapailiwa so like when you need a kidney there's no 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 it's not like blood bank it's not like blood blood bank that you can just give out you someone when someone has a kidney failure now they have to look for someone who is com, uh, compatible ama what we call it just someone who who they, they are um, yani wana wana wa, wako pamoja ndio sasa kama anaweza mtole wa, wanipime waangalie vitu zenyewe wanaangalianga waone kama ina ina match yeah, a, a match they look for a match so hakuna mtu mwenye ati amesikia so it is very hard you cannot go, in, in fact doctors cannot allow that it's not allowed so for kwanza tu nikwambie Agnes hiyo hiyo nayo kwanza naweza kukwambia bila kukuficha hiyo haitawezekana my dear Uwezi match tu kwa hospitali and go ask at you want to donate my you can go donate your blood mm-hmm. in fact they are really advocate for that mm-hmm. but uh, giving out your your your, your kidney hiyo nayo haiwezekani so guys i i don't know i don't know kama umeshafukumwa you don't know how much pain you have gone through until you went to an a point whereby you feel you need to give out your kidney for for free no not not for free for money so that you can pay your debtors 
I know it's painful. I know there are people who might have your money and you feel bad that they have not paid it. But you guys, if you just umekopesha mtu, if you lend someone money and you now hear of the problem that they have, kindly be very lenient on them and wait for them to pay you slowly by slowly because I believe unajaribu kualipa pole pole. Kwa sababu eh, mshahara yangu huko kuna katwa mm. hakuna vile nitasaidia ni sababu hii nyumba nalipa 3500 hata chakula mm. hata sijafua nguo niende kazi hakuna mm. vile nisa toka hapa niende kazi ni nikiwa mchafu mm. inabidi bado nioge yani ni, 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 ni at least hata mtu akiniona anafikiria niko sawa mm. but ni ile tu ninaficha eh uchungu, uchungu yangu ndani Madam sasa zingine atanijua kazini nasikia kama niko chini na sasa zingine hata kuna wakati nilikuwa nimesema ayo nijiue ama nifanye nini at least hiyo pesa ijangwe ipeanwe hata kama sitakuepo lakini watoto wangu wapate that, that, that is the worst thing guys i want to advise you na mami pia na kwa advice pia hapo hata ukifika mwisho gani ambia Mungu akusaidie don't ever think of committing suicide committing suicide will not do anything good to you it will even hurt the kids most you know it will hurt everyone you will leave people crying you know and let me tell you something there are people who try to commit suicide and then inashindikana do you know if you caught committing suicide utashikwa na utaulizwa pale na judge tuseme umejaribu na ijawezekana mm-hmm. utaulizwa why did you try to kill agnes they will not say why did you try to kill yourself mm-hmm. they will na utafungwa kwa sababu ya hiyo you understand na nime na nimesikia yes mm-hmm. so kindly let that not be an option because guys jana hebu kwanza niambie yesterday you texted me and you told me i i want to tell you goodbye mm-hmm. Na hiyo kitu ilinishtua nilikuwa town nilikuwa job nilikuja kuona message usiku mm. and she told me she wrote to me at 12 midday. Na mimi nikakuja kuona messages usiku karibu saa mbili venye nilirudi kwa nyumba. And I called you several times like 10 times and your phone was going to voicemail. I I had never panicked like yesterday. Because I read and she had said Rose I want to tell you goodbye I cannot live on this world anymore. Ebu chao tell us ulikuwa umepanga aje jana. Mm. Yes, siko ni bebe. Yaani nilikuwa naona tu kama niko disturb. Nikifikiria madeni, nafikiria watoto wangu. Sijui nitaanzia wapi. Were you planning to commit suicide yesterday? No. Eh hiyo kitu ilinishtua. No, but ile ile kitu yes kuna kitu ningetaka kufanya lakini roho ya Mungu ilinikuza na nikakumbuka huyu msichana mdogo ambaye nimeletewa na msichana wangu nikae naye sababu shule imefungwa ako how old ako 9 years old that's your last boy no she is uh, my grand oh you oh huyu ni mtoto wa mtoto wako yes okay so nikakumbuka huyu msichana lakini in the real sense nilikuwa naona acha niende. Nikakumbuka huyu mtoto akitoka LD amesema anaenda kuona shirishi yake ama mama yake mm. njua ananitanga mama. Mm. Nikaona huyu mtoto ataenda akifikiria nini. Mm. Wacha nifunge safari mtoto akienda nione way forward. But nikaambia Mungu bado kama Rose hata nifikia nafikiri sitakuwa vile nimekuwa at least ninajua roho itakuwa imetulia at least nitakuwa nimejua vile nitaishi ama vile nitafanya mama kazi kazi yenye ninafanya ni kwanza ni challenging but ninaomba Mungu every day but ile mambo inanikera ni madeni sasa zingine unaweza pata hata facebook mtu anaandika neno inakukwasa kama ni lazi hivyo kulikuwa kuna matanga mahali but nikasikia kama mamangu ameulizwa ya kwamba unajua msichana yako amekuwa amekuwa akichukua pesa ya watu 
my mom akwenda na aliangenda ilibidi arudi sababu ya ile kukwaswa na alikuja akaniuliza sasa hii mambo tutafanya aje shamba nyumbani si ati ni kubwa vile ambaye hata kama ni kubwa sina share Everybody out there is battling problems. Akuna, akuna mtu hana shida my dear. Wakati mwingine tunaoga tunajipaka mafuta tuna smile, but it's only because if you don't give yourself hope and strength, nobody will do that for you. Hakuna kila mtu umeshasikia mtu akisema be kind to everyone you meet on the way because you don't know what they are battling very many people are desperate and 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 and, and carrying a lot of depression outside there be be very careful when you tell people things that will hurt you <coughs> for our brothers back at home this is our request sisi sio sisi tunatakanga kuachwa Tunaolewa, tunawachwa, sio sisi tumetaka. So, if you're there at home and you have the whole shamba with yourself, can you just allow any one of us that wants to come back home to have a, a place? I, I Even don't, a peace. A peace. I don't know where this thing came from. Ati shamba ni ya wanaume. It's a real shame. Because wengine wetu tukona watoto wasichana. Sasa, inamanisha tu, apparently assuming I have a shamba somewhere. When I die, because one day I will die. So where do I leave that chamber? Who do I leave that chamber to? I leave it to my girls. You understand? So even if you have girls and boys, can you try and equalize? Waweke wote pamoja. Wote ni wako uliza, wote ulibeba ni uchungu, the same ulisikia. Parents, let us normalize seeing our girls like equals to the boys. Because now look at this girl and say, Ma, wow, ahana peace. Umesikia tu, she doesn't have a shamba. Lakini siya tihaiko, atakama ni ndogo waji, ni hao vijana wako, wenye wako nyumbani. For us girls, for us women, ata tukiwachua, tujiamini. Tufanya, you see she's still working, haja kufa moyo. Anadaiwa, haja kufa moyo. Guys, unaweza taka watu wa kusaidi aji. Ebu wangalie pale na uambie. Eee... Ningetaka usaidi si wangu kubwa ni madeni. Mama ni hii madeni ikisha. Hii kidoa inye napata. Ata, ata kama nitaenda retire ama kama ata nitashindo kufanya kazi. Naisa njua ya kwamba naisa enda ku, 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 kufanya gibarua maheli na nikomboe tunumba ya kuishi. Mm. Mimi hiyo isingine sinashida. Mm -hmm. Sababu nina njua mungu ata nioneka. Mm. But hizi madeni ingekua inanyondo kea. Sayu melipa kiwa nkokani. Mama sija hata hata kulipa hata shilengi. Ile nye nina katua. Eh, Tawul of last year. Yes. Tawul of last year. Tumia ndikisha na agreement. Iyo kwani iyo wanakata wanapeleka wapi. Oh, eh, si kulipa deni. Ni iyo ni kulipa deni. Eh. Na ndiyo nakuambia sasa ile deni nye nina lipa ni mimi nye niliomba. Kuna wale ambaye. Kuna wale uliomba yes. 100,000. Yes. Mm. Ata si kuomba. Mstia na hawa likuwa nafaa kuenda. But sababu wai kuwezekana. Inasema kana ya kwamba mimi ndiyo na lemiwa ya kwamba. Ulichukua pesa ukapeana. Which means that maybe ule hata mama haku kufa. Maybe uli amu kukule pesa na hei. Oh ndiyo wana kusingizi ya. Hmm. Ile uchungu nasikia mama sijai kula shilingi ya mtu. Sijawai kula shilingi ya mtu. Sababu. Mm. E, nifaidike. Juni na juu ya kwamba hata ningekuwa nimekula. Mama singekuwa naishi kwa inyo. Mm. Maybe hata ningeishi kwa one bedroom sababu niko na pesa. Mm. Lakini ninaishi singo. Room sababu sena. Na ile mali pesa zangu inanifikisha ni hapa. Wakati watu wanalala mimi silali. Iki nikisema ninalala sa zingine tukiomba hapa. Kumbi mrembo, anaomba. Tukimaliza za zingina hata usingizi na nichukua. Kusema anani kama nilala. But nikifika kwa kitanda, mama nanza one. E, mbaka ze. Asubu ina, inafika, ninaamuka, ninaenda job. Yani hile tu kuchikaza. Na kile ta, minaomba mungu yama na shukuru sana sababu. Nikona alzas, lakini siyesi kosa pesa ya dawa. Nikipata hata kama ni 20 bob, naendia tu umesa. 
hata nipate tu mbili ambaye itanisaidia nilale mm. nipate tu usingizi ama hata nisipopata usingizi mimi sinyie usiku mm. lakini ni, mama ningesaidika tu nipate pesa ya madeni e for 50 tashukuru sitakuwa na jambo lingine ama mimi hata selalamiki ati sababu niliachwa nimengangana na watoto hapana watoto ni baraka na ni wangu sitaki hata niseme mtu anisaidie watoto hapana singetaka hata nisaidiwe lakini ile shida niko nayo ni deni watoto kweli wamesoma lakini hakuna mtoto ambaye naweza sema ya kwamba nategemea sababu wako kazi hakuna mwenyako kazi hakuna mwenyako kazi kazi yako nayo ni ile tu kibarua bado so unaona eh hata yeye mali yako lazima alipe nyumba na achilipie hata sabuni achinunulia hata kanguo at least mm. sababu hizo zingine sitaulizwa mm. lakini si siwezi nikategemea kwamba e, mtoto akipata hata ile hata kama ni 8 alitumie tu hakuna kitu tutakao tunasaidia mm. lakini ninaomba sana ningekuwa tu na nguvu ama ni that is why nikasema ni ni, ni, ni toe kidney ili nilipe hao watu pesa hiyo tu shida yangu ya kutoa kidney ilikuwa ni pesa ni juzi nilikuwa ninasema ili ningekufa na niandike hata kabarua mahali ya kwamba nisaidiwe nichangiwe hata kama nitachangiwa kama nimekufa mama lakini wale watu nisikuwe na deni yao sababu naona hii kukaa kwa hii dunia unakwasika mambo mengi na shida si shida si ati nimeshindwa kulea watoto wangu nimelea wanomaliza lakini kutoka hapo hakuna vile hata naisa peleka hata msichana college ananiambia hata ningetaka kufanya kompyuta anataka kwenda NYS sina hata mwelekeo sina hata mtu atanisaidia anigisie pale sababu huyu ana huyu ana anasema tu ningepata kazi ya kuwa askari mama nitakusaidia lakini hatuna hatuna njia Kenya hii ikisema kana leo hii unataka kuandika mtoto polisi mpaka utakuwa na kitu so, msichana ndiye anataka kufanya NYS yes hata kijana anataka bado kijana mm lakini sina mama sina hata ninajua tu ni hapa kidogo lakini sina nitapea nani mtoto anipelekee hebu utupatie namba yako yes. ndio kama kuna mtu wako hapo nje unaweza taka kumsaidia in any way either umtumie kitu kidogo haba na haba hujaza kibaba Usidharau pesa yako kidogo, usidharau elfu yako moja, usidharau mia zako mbili. Usidharau yako ile uko nayo. Haba na haba. Imagine kila mtu akimtumia tu pesa kidogo kidogo. Alternatively, there is someone out there you guys who follow me. I know there are very great people who follow me. Great people who follow, who, who, who look at uh, what Rose Williams brings. Watu wakubwa wakubwa and the, the, you cannot know wewe jua ni akina nani wana watch kuna watu wakubwa sana hapa very big people hata kwa government wanaweza kuwa wana watch somebody might be in a position to help hata watoto wake wapate hiyo kazi ya polisi NYS nini unajua if the kids get to have something to, to do they can help their mother in fact si lazima hata Ukiona hawezi kumtumia anything unaweza msaidia kusaidia watoto wake kupata kazi. Kama uwezi msaidia kwa hiyo pia maombi anahitaji yeah. kwa sababu hiyo ni roho mbaya. Hiyo wakati unafika mahali unasikia you need to commit suicide. That is an evil spirit from the devil. We need to pray for this woman. Right. Tumuombe sana hiyo kitu imtoke kabisa kama you can be able to give her something. Kindly send her na usidharau haba na haba hujaza kibaba my 100 your 1000 somebody's 10000 somebody else's amount it will come in handy hata tukimsaidia kulipa a fraction of it tutakuwa tumemsaidia tu kazi kidogo pole pole ataendelea na the rest so guys we really appreciate kindly wapatie namba yako namba yangu ya simu ni 0727437233 tutaiandika hapo or 0739 299 081 yo ni airtel yo ni airtel number tutapin hapo call her even if it's just to encourage her hakuna ile ile kama ni maombi hata eh. unipe dakika mbili yako ya kuniambia uniombe tashukuru sana sababu ninajua nisimame ni maombi kuna watu kadhaa ambaye nimewaambia waniombe 
kama pastor Ezekiel ninatuma messages mingi sana kwa eh, watu kuna maombi zimninatumiwa na watu wa Catholic kama ya St Peter sijui wapi but ninaomba lakini sababu ya ile shetani ako ndani ya kwamba anaona kukweli naweza ingia kwa ile shida ninaomba sana muniombe muniombe Mungu anipe nguvu anipe amani na usaidizi wenu atakubwa ni uniombe sababu majaribu ni mengi na sina mengi ya kusema nisaidie mahali utaweza kama utasaidia mtoto wangu nitashukuru kama utanisaidia kwa kitu kidogo nashukuru hata kama ni 50 bob sikatai sababu ningekuwa nayo singekuwa hapa vitu bob yako nikiongeza hata na yangu naweza fanya kitu kingine nashukuru sana madam rose may god bless you I wish you all the best. May God lead you. Whenever you are, be blessed. Amen. Ume kuja haba at least ni pate courage. Na nimeshukuri sababu nilikuwa naona kama niko lonely. That is why hata hii mambo ya kivyo yenye nasema ni chuwe. Nilikuwa naona kama mimi niko peke yangu. Nikifikiri hakuna kitu mama siku waifikiri. Mbata nikafikiria kidney. Hakuna kitu siku kia. Sababu nikiona hapa inje sina kitu. Hapa ndani sina. So nitafanya nini? Na kuencourage ni kuambia hauko peke yako. Amen. Na ni asanti to reach out to me. Hata kama tutasaidia na tuki mawazo, kuongea, kuombeana. And like I said, you never know who is watching. Na someone might just call kuna kuna waombezi huko nje there are people who are really intercessors amen na wanaomba na Mungu anasikia amen kwa hivyo wewe jipe moyo it is well god bless you so much together with your children god will come through for you amen atatenda atatenda ni mjiza amen huwa anatengeneza njia mahali ambapo hakuna njia amen si alitengeneza njia kwa bahari ya shamu atakuwa kwa atatengeneza ametengeneza kwangu atatengeneza kwako sawa sawa amen si tuombe basi mungu baba we come before you we thank you for the gift of life thank you for the gift of agnes thank you for her children and thank you for this day mungu unajua ambayo anapitia e mwenyezi mungu mtende kwa ajili ya wema wako mfanyie mema mpaka njia nchi yote ijue kweli unaweza mbariki na ufungulie njia hizo mm -hmm. mawazo za kujiua Mungu muondole yes. kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mm -hmm. katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini amen amen May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen mbarikiwe na mbarikiwe mbarikiwe sana may God bless you people until next time adios amigos bye bye